Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Meghan's excited to raise child gender fluid. Queen gives her huge reality check. Meghan Markle, the former cable TV actress, now formally called the Duchess of Sussex, announced she is excited to raise her child gender fluid. The 37-year-old social climber has been scolded behind the scenes time and time again for pumping her far-left political views in public, and now she is branding the baby to be as genderless, called a baby. Well, Queen Elizabeth II isn't amused, and she made sure the Duchess got a huge reality check. Meghan Markle is once again making waves in the United Kingdom. Just last month the former Suits star really stepped in it when she claimed British universities are too male, pale and stale. In fact, when she learned that British university professors are overwhelmingly white and male, Meghan was apparently moved to gasp, oh my god. Of course, those ridiculous race-baiting remarks caused major blowback. Perhaps the Duchess ought to have another glance at her husband Prince Harry, aka the Duke of Sussex. If she looks very carefully, she may notice that he too is overwhelmingly white and male. With luck, she'll be so appalled by this shocking discovery that she'll up sticks and move back to Hollywood, where she belongs, reported James Dellingpole via Breitbart. Now, the former D-list actress has decided to cause the 92-year-old queen grief by announcing she'll be raising the child as genderless. Actress Meghan Markle has reportedly told friends she and her husband Prince Harry have plans to raise their child with a fluid approach to gender that refrains from imposing any stereotypes, according to sources who spoke with Vanity Fair. Breitbart reported. The Sussexes have already planned a gender-neutral nursery and opted for whites and greys over conventional blue and pink colorways, and this seems to be in line with Meghan's ideas about how to raise children, the magazine reported. Meghan has been talking to some of her friends about the birth and how she and Harry plan to raise their baby. Her exact word was fluid, one source close to the actress told the magazine. She said they plan to raise their child with a fluid approach to gender and they won't be imposing any stereotypes. These parents who are raising their kids gender fluid call the babies, babies. But what makes this gender open style of parenting stand out, and even controversial in some circles, is that the parents do not reveal the sex of their children to anyone, NBC News reports. Even the children, who are aware of their own body parts and how they may differ from others, are not taught to associate those body parts with being a boy or a girl. It's utter poppycock, a royal insider told Mad World News. The Queen sees Meghan's latest antics of this gender-fluid nonsense as part of Markle's consistent refusal to properly serve the Commonwealth as part of the royal family. The Duchess indulges in serving her own needs and appears to intentionally cause controversy for Buckingham Palace. It appears the monarch and her advisers have washed their hands of Meghan Markle. After this story hit the press, the palace said, no comment. The royal insider said, Her Majesty long reign is marked by certain scandals and she trusts the British people no rubbish when they see it. Political pronouncements by the royal family are considered a violation of protocol, with members required to be publicly neutral in order to maintain widespread support for the monarchy as an institution. Reports are the Queen tried to get Meghan as much help as possible to make her transition smooth, but it all came to a head when the 37-year-old social climber refused the help Her Majesty sent and went rogue time and time again. Queen Elizabeth sent Samantha Cohen, her beloved assistant private secretary and press spokesperson, to straighten out Meghan Markle. Cohen, who is nicknamed Samantha the Panther for her no-nonsense approach to royal protocols and duty, found out quickly the former cable TV actress had no intention of serving the British people. It was reported back in December that Cohen resigned and is scheduled to leave after the baby is born. And of course, Samantha the Panther let the Queen know Meghan's many faux pas was not done from ignorance but out of spite for the traditional role the monarchy stands for in England. After the Cohen debacle, the Queen and her advisers knew Meghan Markle wasn't a team player and had every intention of throwing in her far-leftist political views into the mix as much as possible. Now, with this gender-fluid nonsense, it only cements the American grifter craves the limelight even if it causes distress to the royal family. Buckingham Palace trusts the British people along with those who revere the Queen around the world have Markle's number as an interloper hellbent on serving her own needs. In the end, the Duchess of Sussex will be her own worst enemy. The public will permanently turn on her, and when Meghan looks for help, the Queen will shut the royal doors to Buckingham Palace on her for good. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.